The little six-year-old boy who I mentioned a little while ago in a hospital here in North Texas right now, he's the only surviving member of his family. His father died Saturday, his mother died, and his little brother all killed on Saturday. Andrea Lucia, New Song Church in Carrollton. You've spoken to people there. This is where this family worshipped. I spoke to a fellow church member who said the Cho family was active here and that the entire church community is really feeling this loss. William Cho had just turned six about a week ago. He, his parents, and his three-year-old little brother were all at the Allen, Allen Premium Outlet Mall on Saturday. Here is a picture of the family. We blurred William's face for his privacy, but you can see his mother, Cindy, and his father, Q, holding little James. Hello, I'm Dr. Kang. I'm a Known as Dr. Kang to her patients, Cindy worked as a dentist in McKinney. A colleague described her in an online post as one of the kindest, happiest, most genuine people she'd ever met. She said during the shooting, Cindy used her body to shield William, one reason he may have survived. We're told he went through surgery and was initially in the intensive care unit, but his condition has since improved. And we can confirm that it did impact a family here at Prestwood Christian Academy. In a video, the superintendent over Prestonwood Christian Academy, Dr. Mike Goddard, said he and other professionals have visited with children today at the school where William is a kindergartner. Oh my, our hearts goes out to all the victims. John Jun, with the Korean American Coalition of Dallas Fort Worth, went to church with the Cho's and says there's a strong desire in this community to help. But a child that's not going to have immediate family moving forward. So uh, it just breaks our heart all the way around. And whatever it is that we can do, we want to help out. I'm told extended family from out of state is now here in North Texas and at Williams uh, bedside in the hospital. The South Korean consulate is also involved offering its assistance to him and the family. Reporting live here in Carrollton, Andrea Lucia, CBS News, Texas. A week ago, nobody expected anything like this and here they are figuring it out. Andrea, thank you so very much. Nicole